just finally, I had a rush of blood to my head over the weekend, and uh, there was no power actually on Saturday, um, which is normal here. So I decided to do some ballasting, and I've got one packet of ballast material here, the usual stuff that everybody recommends, and uh, I quickly did that. Um, Saturday morning, fairly laborious. Um, the glue, fortunately, uh, goes off fairly quickly here. Within six hours, it was rock hard. Um, and I've ballasted, as you can see. And I've started weathering the ballast. I don't have a spray gun. I don't actually have any paint, uh, the proper stuff. So it's watercolour, um, which I've mixed. Uh, Greys, browns, blacks and uh, done the undercoat sort of thing to start with making it look dirty, grimy and I've put a much thicker coat down where locos sit at the end of the terminus station um, if we come over here to get a better idea it's not too dark yeah so putting in some grime and grit and making it look dirty after watching some of the tutorials and what people have done on e on uh, YouTube. And uh, here we go. Not sure what I'm going to do about this Hornby platform. I've, I've left it there. One little cock up is I tested it with the HST and of class 50 with a rake of coaches. All works beautifully. Then I ran a Helgen uh, locomotive in, which is slightly fatter and it <laughs> hit the platform. So I've got to work out a little problem there. The Helgen Locos apparently are two mil fatter than they should be. They got it wrong when they designed them. And there's the offending locomotive with my track cleaning train. And she uh, came to grief on the platform over here. Um, so I've got a little problem to sort out there. Just experimenting with matchsticks, see what I can do. I think they're called barrow, barrow something or other, barrow paths, they go across the lines, I don't know. But um, I'll cut those matchsticks in half, trim them slightly, they're a bit too big, and stick them across. That's a sort of cost effective way of doing it. And also, I finally I've started my bit of bit of detail at last. Rather than fixing locos, a little bit of greenery going in and muck going in on this siding. This is a siding that holds my track cleaning train. A bit of fencing up and a bit of bush. A bit more to be done. I'm going to make probably the, the ballast a bit dirtier, a bit browner I think here. Less oil and a bit more rust and stuff going on it. Um, and that's where my track cleaning train lives. They're superb, and she runs superbly. It's superb, yeah, it is superb. She runs brilliantly. Love it. Hornby really did a good job with their class 50s and 31s. Really, really good job. Okay, let's get the train that lives in this siding up here. I'm on the third floor here, so you can hear the wind howling around the house. Sorry about that. There we go. 
Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you sort of give you an idea of uh, where I'm at with this. And uh, I'm probably going to move away from repairing locos for a while and get on with doing enjoyable bits and pieces. And uh, thank you very much for the people who have subscribed. I'm up to four, which is brilliant. All right, take care. Bye-bye.